What's up, universe? DPZ rolling solo, and I know it's late as of this recording, but hey, you know, the, the news never stops. You know, the news never stops, no matter where you are. So, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, some late night DC news. No, not the Arrow thing. That that happened. Uh, Jay covered that. So, uh, I'm going to talk about the uh, re the news that just recently came out about uh, Idris Elba and his affiliation with the DC Universe. So, uh, for those who don't know, what happened a few weeks, a few days ago, actually, it wasn't even a few weeks, it was a few days, um, Will Smith announced that he would no, he would not be a part of the neck of the Suicide Squad sequel, along with Margaret Robbie. Now, the big thing with this is that I was kind of okay with it. Not because I didn't hate Will Smith in, in in the movie. He was actually one of the better parts of it. I just kind of wish, you know, he wasn't playing Will Smith and more of the Floyd Lawton character I know of. You know, I didn't mind that they made Floyd Lawton black. I didn't mind that. I just wish uh, Will Smith wasn't playing Will Smith as Deadshot. That was my only gripe, was that he was just playing himself. Um... Floyd Lawton's a lot more mentally damaged character, and I know Will Smith can play mentally damaged characters really well, but, you know, that was Suicide Squad for you. So, in a way, the reason why I was okay with both Margaret Robbie and Will Smith uh, not being in the sequel was mostly because Suicide Squad has a tendency to have a revolving door policy in its team, you know. There is no, like, set-in-stone team. Like, it's not like with Justice League, where, like, 95% of the time, you always have Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, and, you know, Flash and Green Lantern, um, and, you know, uh, obligatory seventh character, uh, for the, you know, the Justice League. You know, for the Justice League, it's always usually your typical seven characters, at most. Um, but with Suicide Squad, you know, the whole thing is that, it, you know, depending on if they do this as, like, a time skip thing, is, like, you know, it's been years since Suicide Squad, since the first one, you know, a mission went bad in Harley, and, uh, depending on what they do with, uh, you know, Birds of Prey, you know, maybe they'll say they let Harley go, and maybe Deadshot died in a mission, and they could have just replaced him with another character. But that is simply not the case. As it turns out today, it has been apparently announced, again, it's only, like, half confirmed, like, it's only, like, people are saying it's in talks, and the other half is saying it's confirmed, so I don't know, none of us here at Universe know for sure, actually, that, uh, if this is confirmed or not, because half the pe half the sites are saying it's confirmed, and the other half are saying it's in talks, so, you know, bear with me, you know, bear with us here, that, uh, Will Smith is out, and Idris Elba is in. Yeah, Idris Elba. And I, first off, I find this funny because not too long ago, he was playing a character called the Gunslinger, which was a, a marksman who could never miss in the uh, Stephen King adaptation of, the, of uh, Dark Tower. And I find that funny that he's playing a, a marksman who can never miss. So I find that, you know, really funny. Now, I love uh, Idris Elba. I really love Idris Elba as an actor. He's, you know, he's, he can be charming and sinister at the same time. Like, I've seen him play a hero role as much as a villain role. He's one of those few actors who could easily transition between hero and villain back and forth. And people still love him regardless. You know, I thought he was excellent as Shere Khan. I thought, um, you know, he's, of course, great as Heimdall, great as in his, show, his BBC show Luther. Uh, dude kills it, ever, no, you know, no matter what. And he's, and I actually think he, he's actually a pretty goddamn decent pick for uh, for Deadshot. Again, Elba's really good at playing like these mentally, you know, these mentally damaged characters. Again, going back to Luther, to Luther. Um, so I think he's very, you know, I think he's a great pick for uh, playing Lawton. Um, but again, I feel like you could have done this movie without the need of Deadshot. If you really wanted to, you could have easily done this, you know, you could have had him play a different, Idris Elba play a different character, you know, you could, you know, there's so many characters in the DC villain spot, in, you know, in the DC universe that you could pick from that you didn't need, uh, you did not need in any way, shape, or form, you know, Harley Quinn and Deadshot to come back. You didn't need those two to come back. You just, you know, you just needed two villains to replace them. Um... And again, this isn't fully confirmed. Again, as far as we know, this isn't like this isn't one hundred percent confirmed. But again, maybe it is, and maybe I'm just I just missed that official report, or maybe it, it wasn't confirmed. So who who the hell knows at this point? 
But the the point I'm trying to make is you could have done this movie without Deadshot um, at all. You could have had him play a different character. You could have had, um, you know, I personally would like to see another main major mainstay in the Suicide Squad lineup was Count Vertigo. Uh, Count Vertigo, great, green, you know, Green Arrow villain. And recently in his story, in the recent Rebirth story arc, he was really like tuning his powers in that he could, dif you know, change your perception of the world. Ah, uh, he's really great. So I think it'd be cool if, you know, he was cool as Vertigo. I mean, yeah, Ver well, I think he would have been cool as, like, any other villain. I don't know, like, may Count Vertigo, maybe, actually, now that I think about it, he could be cool as, as Vertigo. Although, they would have to kind of explain, he is, like, strictly very, he is very European, that character's very European, but yeah. You could have had him play, oh, you know, would have been better, and I can't believe I didn't think of this sooner, Elba would have been really cool as Bronze Tiger. Yeah, there's another major Suicide Squad mainstay that I'd love to see in a Suicide Squad movie. Bronze Tiger, Ben Turner. Yeah, get, uh, Elba would have been really cool to play Bronze Tiger. Um, 100%, absolutely. Um, but yeah, that's my thing, is that, did he need to be Deadshot? Not really. Does, you know, do we need Deadshot in this movie? I know he's a Suicide Squad mainstay, but you don't need Deadshot because Suicide Squad is notorious for, con or even more so than any other team, constantly bringing in new characters to fill in the roles that the other characters died in. So there you go. Hopefully this movie also won't be a complete shit show behind the scenes like, uh, the, uh, you know, the first Suicide Squad movie. So, yeah. Again, I still find it funny that uh, James Gunn is directing a movie that was trying so hard to be like his Guardians of the Galaxy movie. It's, I don't, it, yeah, it's just total irony for me. It's just total friggin' irony. So, you guys tell us in the comments below, Universe, what do you guys think of Idris Elba playing, possibly, uh, Deadshot? Do you guys like the idea? Do you guys hate the idea? Would you have preferred him to play, like, another character, like Bronze Tiger or another DC villain? Uh, that you had in mind, just comment below, let us know here on the universe. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.